Thanks for choosing Dobek Performance. Today we are going over programming your Gen 3.5 controller using PowerLab. First, you'll need a PowerLab account, an infrared USB adapter, and a strong 9 volt power source. After logging into PowerLab, you'll need to download both the infrared USB driver and the Gen 3.5 coder from the resources section in PowerLab. Next, connect your controller to a strong 9 volt Duracell or Energizer battery or a 12 volt power supply. Do this by connecting the controller's ground wire to the black negative connection of your power source. Take the red double pin side of the connector and connect it to the red positive connection of your power source. Check for proper functioning by turning on the power supply. The outside lights on your controller should be flashing green. Connect your infrared USB to your computer using a male-female USB extension cord. Ensure a good connection during programming by keeping your infrared USB 1 to 2 inches away from your controller. Your controller will alternate flashing red and green when your infrared USB is in range and ready to connect. Next, open up the Gen 3.5 coder, then locate and load the hex file that was given with your PowerLab account. You are now ready to program your controller. Click connect and then program on the Gen 3.5 coder to start the upload of your tuning setup. You have now begun programming your controller and are uploading a tuning setup. There are two ways of programming your controller, a long burn and a short burn. If you are uploading a full tuning setup, you will perform a long burn. If you are making small parameter changes to your tuning setup, you will perform a short burn. During a short burn, the light display never changes and takes about 10 to 15 seconds. During a long burn, your controller will go through various light settings to display the programming process. Once upload has began, your controller will flash red for about 30 seconds before changing to solid green for about 20 seconds. Solid green informs you the infrared program has finished upload. Next, the controller will change back to flashing red for 2-3 to three minutes while your tuning setup uploads. After that is completed, the controller will turn to flashing green to verify the successful upload. It will then change back to flashing red and you have successfully uploaded your tuning setup. Remember, it's important to maintain a connection while uploading. Also, always click disconnect on the Gen 3.5 coder and safely remove the USB after a successful upload. Thank you for choosing Dobek Performance. We hope this tutorial has been helpful.